good morning children today we will start geography lesson number 2 latitude and longitudes okay so let's know about the latitude and longitude so our earth is a vast sphere which rotates on its axis an axis is an imaginary line which passes through the center of the earth clear an imaginary line passes horizontally through the center on the earth surface is called the equator clear so it divides the earth into two equal parts the northern half is called the northern hemisphere while the southern half is called the southern hemisphere clear now latitude what is latitude latitude are a imaginary line drawn on the earth surface they run from west to east horizontally around the globe since they run parallel to the equator and they are also called the parallels and they are measured in a degree so lines of latitude describe whether a place is to the north or south clear of the equator and the equator of uh, is of 0 degree latitude and is the starting point for measuring the latitude clear now some important of latitudes so some latitudes are used as a reference point in the geography there are 181 latitudes 90 above the equator 90 below the equator okay so equator divides the earth into the two equal parts okay let's see let understand that is the important important latitude and the heat zone okay so equator is divided at the 0 degree when it divides the earth into the equal two parts okay that is the north pole and south pole clear so it is the north the end of its axis north pole and it is the south it is the southern end of its earth axis clear now tropic of cancer tropic of cancer it is the northernmost position where the sun rays appear directly over head clear now tropic of capricorn this is the tropic of capricorn so it is the southernmost position where the sun rays appear directly over head clear now arctic circle this arctic circle this circle is the arctic circle so arctic circle it marks the northern limit see the northern limit beyond the earth can either be sublit sublit means less sunless okay so uh, sunless or more than 24 hours that's why it is the freeze zone okay now come to antarctic circle this one is the antarctic circle antarctic circle it marks the southernmost limit beyond which the earth can either be sublimit or the sunless for the more than 24 hours that's why it is the free zone clear okay now come to longitude so longitude are the imaginary line drawn on the surface of the earth and in the north and south direction vertically between the pole and these lines are also called the meridian okay so north south line that marks its zero degree longitude passes through the greenwich england that is called the greenwich meridian or the prime meridian clear see there is the line of the longitude okay this line clear so longitude and from here we can 
counted 180 degree uh, to the east and 180 degree to the west okay so longitude of the 180 degree uh, east and 180 degree west are the same longitude okay so these are the meridian together with the prime meridian this the green ridge meridian this red red line is the prime meridian okay and uh, form the circle and divide the earth into the uh, two hemisphere that is the eastern hemisphere and western hemisphere eastern hemisphere this portion and this one is the western hemisphere clear okay now feature of the longitude the feature of the longitude are the all the longitudes are the semicircle equal in length clear and the distance between them decreases towards the pole and finally they coverage at the pole the zero degree longitude is called the prime meridian or the greenwich meridian that i had told the greenwich meridian or the prime meridian clear okay now you understand okay now longitude can also be understood as the angular distance between the 